I finished putting this all together about two weeks ago. So I don't have a whole lot of use out of it yet, but I'm gonna do a, a brief overview and then put up a, a longer review after I get some more use out of it. I ordered this saw on a Wednesday around 11 o'clock in the morning and it was delivered on Friday around 9 o'clock in the morning. So a little less than two days to ship. I chose to go pick it up myself. I figured that might be easier than having a 18-wheeler come down my street to try to deliver it. And they loaded it up for me, but this thing is about 450 pounds of uh, shipping weight, so it wasn't easy to get it out of the back of my truck. So that's something to keep in mind. This is the Grizzly GO833P. And when I was trying to decide which one I was gonna buy, it was between this one and the uh, Grizzly GO771Z. And a couple of key things that I noticed between the differences between the two of them are this one comes pre-wired for 230 volts and the other one's pre-wired for 120 even though they'll both work on 230 or 120 and the other one uses a lot more aluminum on the fence especially like this is uh, steel tubing and that's extruded aluminum on the other one and all this down through here is steel tubing and it's uh, aluminum on the other one and also the miter gauge this is cast iron and the other one is also uh, aluminum for that too and this one has a lot more options for uh, dust collection I haven't set this up yet but it has uh, the hose here to connect to the guard which wraps around to the dust port down here for a better dust collection I'll do a quick calibration check I don't have any specialty tools for this but I have a square so I'll make sure that the blade is square to the table and that the fence is square to the table and that it's also parallel to the blade. So the blade is all the way up right now and it is perfectly square to the table. And the fence is also perfectly square to the table. I can't see any light through there whatsoever. And I don't have a square or to go from uh, the front of the saw to the back of the saw but I was able to line it up with this miter slot. Kind of hard to see, but I did line it up perfectly with this miter slot at the front. And it's basically perfectly lined up with the miter slot in the back also. That's the best way I can measure this right now it might be just opened up just a hair but 
pretty much lined up with it from front to back. And the fence moves really nicely. My overall first impressions of this saw is that I really like it a lot. I'm glad I chose this one over the other one just because of the uh, steel tubing versus the aluminum, but everyone seems to love the other one also. But honestly, I can't really imagine needing anything more than this for a hobbyist. It has plenty of power and very heavy duty.